Hi. All right, so if you missed the last video, then you might wonder why I have band-aids on my face and I'm wearing gloves, but that was for another video. So anyways, welcome to the crazy show uh, of this. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video I wrote it down, hang on. This video is about all your reasons of why you can't do things because you're sick. So if you get a paper and a pen, like I have done this exercise for myself, I wrote down, I can't have friends because I'm sick. I can't tell my story because I'm sick. You know, like write my book or whatever because I'm still sick. I can't be a great wife and date my husband and have sex and do all those things because I'm still sick. I can't laugh because I'm still sick and suffering, whatever. I can't have fun because I'm still sick, right? Because of my symptoms. I can't be super fit and be active and go to the gym because I'm still sick. Um, I can't get a job because I'm still sick. I can't make money because I'm still sick. I can't, whatever you think you can't, um, I can't live my best life because I'm still sick. I can't travel because I'm still sick, right? I want you to get a piece of paper, seriously do this. Seriously do this. I mean, don't just listen to me say this. Seriously do it and you will see what I'm about to tell you, but you need to do it. Just. I can't do this because I'm still sick. I can't do this because I'm still sick. If you're chronically ill, if you've had a sickness for a long time, if you have symptoms or a condition or a problem, a disease, an autoimmune condition, whatever you have, then you have all kinds of stories. Basically, you're a victim and you can't do this, you can't do this, your life is limited in so many ways. Um, you are limited and you're a victim and you are handicapped and you are unable to create the life that you want because you're still sick. So if you do it this way, you will start to see that the because I'm still sick is the excuse. Now, I know you're not creating that excuse. I know that you are still sick. I know that you still have symptoms. I know that you still can't do a lot of these things because you're sick. But when we start to view our life that way, you know, I can't do this because I'm still sick. I'm limited in this capacity. At some point during a chronic illness, things are better or things are worse. And they're not always the exact same. And at some point, you may be able to work, but you're so used to saying, I can't work because I'm sick, that it's become automatic. It's become your excuse. I can't go out with friends. Well, maybe at some point you can't, but then maybe there's a point where you can, but you still continue to tell yourself you can't because it's familiar, because you're not all the way there right? So if you could just, if you were totally better and you could do all these things, um, it's because you're on a scale, you're on a sliding scale, right? It's not perfect. But once you get your list written, so pause this, if, if you, <laughs> crazy gloves. Anyways, if you um, can pause this and write your list, try to write 10 things, you know, I can't do this, because I'm still sick. I can't do this because I'm still sick. Now, and try to make them things that you would want to do if you were well. Okay, so you want to travel. You want to be an amazing parent. You want to have a social life. You want to, um, you know, live your purpose, whatever it is. And then write down why you can't. I can't do these things because I'm still sick. And then after that, get another piece of paper, same paper, and write down underneath that, I can't do this because I'm still sick, write down, but 
but inside, but my soul says. So for each sentence, so I can't be a good parent because I'm still sick. And then I want you to write underneath that, but my soul says, my soul says, that's a lie, that I already am a great parent, that I have more wisdom and more compassion and more love than anybody for my kids because I'm sick, right? That that's just an excuse, that that's a lie. And then I want you to go to the next one. I can't travel because I'm still sick. And I want you to write down, but my soul says, maybe I could travel. I'm alive here, aren't I? I'm existing here, I'm existing on this couch, I'm existing in this house, maybe I could take that somewhere else. Maybe I could, maybe not exactly the way I want to, maybe ex not exactly the way I envisioned it, but maybe I could, right? Then go to your next one. You know, um, I can't laugh because I'm still sick. I can't play because I'm still sick. But my soul says, a lie. I can laugh. I can put on a comedy show and laugh even amidst the greatest suffering. People in prisons, people in prison camps, people um, in dire situations can still laugh. They can still play. They can still lose themselves. So maybe that's just the limitation that you're putting yourself on. So under each one I want you to write, my soul says, maybe I'm ready to try, that that's a lie. That that's just an excuse that I want that I want to try that that you know like um sorry I'm gonna take this glove off for a second that I am a good person that I am a good mom that my heart knows that that's just me holding on to fear my soul knows that I can do it my soul believes in me my soul knows that I'm worth it. My soul knows that I have to do these things. My soul knows that I would, I am a great mom. I, I can be a great wife. I can try. I, I can date my husband. I could go on a date with my husband. I could create a date at home with my husband. I could, you know, My soul knows that I'm strong. My soul knows that I have wisdom. My soul knows that I can do anything. My soul knows that I'm strong. My soul no knows that I'm amazing. So if you make that list and then you start to question, is this true? What does the deepest part of me say about that statement? And then ask yourself, maybe could I? Maybe could I? Even though it's not the exact way I planned it, even though it doesn't align with the vision that I had for it, maybe I could try. Maybe I could do it. Maybe this limitation isn't real. Maybe I could break through it. Maybe I could move houses. Maybe I could move towns. Maybe I could move countries. Maybe I could drive. Maybe I could live my best life like this. Maybe I could travel. Maybe I could laugh and play. Maybe I could write my story just the way I am. Right? So sometimes the limitations that we believe are true because we've we're in habitual patterns and we've been hanging out with ourselves and our same mind every day and our same story every single day that, you know, I'm sick and it's taken my life, it's taken this from me, it's taken that from me, look what I can't do, look what I can't do, right? That we don't even see the possibility or the small window that maybe we can. And maybe if we do travel, if we do go on dates again, if we do laugh, if we do play, if we do do interact with our kids, if we do drive, if we do travel, if we do 
write our books, if we do write our stories, if we do make money, if we do get a job, if we do, and we start doing all those things, maybe if we do, then we will be well. Maybe without doing all those things, then we'll never be able to do them. Maybe we create more. Maybe by doing one thing, we create a spinoff. Oh, I did that. Maybe I can do this. If I did that, maybe I could do this. If I did that, maybe I can do this. And maybe then we start to bring our life back to us, bring our joy back to us, bring our abilities back to us, our confidence in ourselves back to us, bring our light back, our love back, our joy back, slowly our happiness back. And yeah, sure, I know it's not going to be perfect, but the more we can create, the more limitations that we can drop, maybe we just walk ourselves and waltz ourselves right into the life that we want. And then we forget that we ever had that whole list of limitations. Then we're living from a place of, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this because I'm still sick. I can do this even though I'm still sick. I can do this even though I'm still sick. I can love myself even though I'm still sick. I can find joy even though I'm still sick. I can be the best version of myself, the best mother, the best wife. I can do these things even though I'm still sick. And then maybe the even though I'm still sick, will fall off and maybe it's just like, I can do this, I can do this. And maybe then you're just left with living your life. So there's some insight, some wisdom, sort of an exercise for you to try and do and see what resonates with you, see what you come up, come up with and see what limitations you can break. It's important that we don't stay stuck in these stories. It's important that we try to break through them, right? That we either try to break through them or we let them fall away. I hope this helped.